Hey everyone, so this is the look that I filmed for you today. It is an all drugstore look. Every product, every brush, with the exception of one brush, is um, you can purchase at the drugstore. And um, there's a couple of different quads I just did, and I do the whole face. I do um, the face and the eyes. So let's. I just want to make this intro short and sweet, so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is apply Revlon Color Stay Makeup Foundation in the color 200 Nude. And how I do this... I just take an application sponge like this. Um, you can get these at any drugstore. They come in like a big pack. And I just apply a drop of it on there. And I'm just going to take my finger and kind of dot it onto my face. So I do like three dots here, three dots here, and two on my forehead. I run them down my nose. I keep it slow. And then on my chin. Now, I don't like the way that these makeup sponges blend all the time, so I'm just going to blend this with my fingers and then go back over with the makeup sponge to make sure everything's even. So, You just want to make sure that you get a nice, even coverage all over. You really want to blend up into your hairline. And see, now that I've got like most of the dots rubbed in, I'll go ahead and go back with my foundation sponge and just kind of even out the edges so you don't have that awkward foundation line everywhere. Just need to even it out so I get a nice all over coverage. And I especially like to do it under my eyes. really make sure it's blended all over and then I take it down my neck as well to make sure you're not getting that foundation line. Okay, so now that that color is all blended in, I'm going to go ahead and use a powder. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in number 235 Pure Beige. That's what it looks like on the, that's what the case looks like. And here is the coloring. It's just a pretty natural color, and I'm going to take my, and this brush is completely, like, ruined, by the way, but it's, I didn't want to use one of my more expensive brushes for this. This is just an e.l.f. professional total face brush. You can buy it at Target for, like, a dollar. looks like this. And I'm just going to swirl in my makeup. And just kind of buff it onto my cheeks. This will help to set your look in for the whole day. And with me, my foundation in the summer, this foundation at least, I'm not, if I'm using this foundation in the summer, it's a little bit too light for my skin tone. So this, and this is just like a little bit darker. So it kind of just evens out very nicely. Make sure you buff all over the face. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is take the, and I have a really weird hair tie thing on this, take the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. Now, my is completely falling apart. The blush is completely out of it, so all I have is that bronzing part of it left, but I really like it. And I'm just going to take, this is a blush brush by Flirt Cosmetics. Um, I use it for my contouring. It is actually, I mean, it's a pretty good brush. looks like that. And then I just take the product, rub a little bit of it on there, swirl it in the brush, kind of tap it off. And I'm going to do the 3B effect. So I'm just going to bronze here, get my cheekbones, and then bring it down my face. Um, I like to really, I like to bronze in the summer. I'm not as big of a fan of, um, I like, I do like blush in the summer, but I like to bronze every day, whereas this look doesn't have a blush. I don't have a um, really good blush I wanted to use for this look in my makeup closet over there. So just contour here. And yes, these are going to look like really harsh lines at first. 
we will kind of blend them. So you take that, I'll just set that there, and I'm going to go back with my elf brush and just blend all of those harsh lines. Really just make sure if I'm looking down, it's because I have my mirror down there. It's a new camera setup, and I'm hoping that this is better lighting because it's natural lighting from my window. Okay, so there's that step. Um, next, I'm going to move on to eyes. Um, the eye product that I've been loving lately as a base is the Maybelline Color Tattoos in number 25 batch of the bronze. And it looks, it is this color right here. And it's just a beautiful bronze color. It is perfect for the summer. So I just like to put it on my ring finger. I don't even use anything to apply it with. I'm just going to apply it all along my lid. As you can see, this is such a pretty bronze color. It's comparable to um, a MAC paint pot. It's very, the colors stay all day long, which is very nice. Okay, then I'm going to take my next color. Or, not the next color, I'm going to do it on the next eye. Because since this is a full face look, I'm not... I only have... Oh, or I have to do both eyes instead of one, since it's a full face look, sorry. Okay. You just really want to blend it in there, make sure you get that color all over the lid. And as you can see, it's just a really... Mm, I'm going to make a white here, I'm just going to clean that up. It's just a really pretty bronze color. So, and that's what I've been wearing pretty much every day this summer, um, as a base for my eyes. Now I'm going to show you what I do to make this look pop a little bit more so it's not just, like, one color. The next thing I'm going to use is my Revlon Quad, which you can't even see all the colors anymore. Um, and it's in the color number 710, not just nudes. It's the Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadow Quad. And I'm going to be using this color as my highlight. So it's the color I'm going to use right now. I hope you can see that. And as you can see, I've hit pan on it. It's almost gone. But this is a really pretty creamy highlight color. And it's just a, it's a very pretty, just like tan, creamy highlight color, which I really like. I like that this look is pretty much all cream shadows besides one. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other eye. Just applying this as a highlight. It kind of just evens out the shimmer. It's a matte, beige kind of color. Very pretty. And I'm also going to take that same color, go into my inner corner, which, yes, I know that's a mess right now. And I'm just going to blend it up into my highlight and kind of down my eyeshadow. Or down my... the rim of my eye. So you've got that. And then the final product we're going to use which I guess I only needed this, is my Maybelline Ice New York Ice Studio Quad. I don't know if there's... Yeah, it's just called the Ice Studio Quad in number 5, Give Me Gold. Now, as you can see, this quad is, like, completely done for. I don't have, like, any colors left in it. This was a gold. This was a white, which I used completely up. I've almost used all that one up. But we're just going to use this color right here, which is this dark bronze... or dark bronze... dark brown matte color. It's got very little shimmer. And I'm just going to swirl it in, tap off the excess. I'm just going to take it on the outer corner, just like that, which, I don't worry, I'm not done blending yet. I just want to do it to the other eye, too. Bring it up. Bring it across. So, as you can see, that's what it looks like right now, but I still have some blending to do. Then I'm just... Oh, and that brush was just my e.l.f. contour brush. You can buy this um, at any... I think you can buy these at Target, where I live, but probably at Ulta, too. And this is also an e.l.f., just the, like, a flat shader brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to use it to really blend those colors together. This is such a pretty eye look. I completely am in love with it. And these are all drugstore products. Um, now I think it's time for, you know what I forgot to do? 
I can't believe I forgot to do this. I forgot to do concealer. I don't have any slots that really need concealed too much today, so I'll just show you my concealer, my drugstore concealer. It's the Revlon Colorstay Blemish Concealer Light. Again, I've used almost all of it up, but um, it just, the wand looks like that. But yeah, I don't see anything I really need to do that on. And maybe that's why I skipped it. Okay. Next I'm going to do an eyeliner. Um, the eyeliner, my drugstore eyeliner that I'm going to be using is the CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus in bl uh, number 200 Black Onyx. So I'm just going to line my top line. Sorry, I'm looking down again. I hope I'm still in the frame on all of these. As you can see on this. Pulling that in all the way across. So it looks like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye, which I just tabbed it in the middle, but you can't see. Same thing, trying not to pull my eye too much. Just a pretty thick line across the entire top. Now for my bottom, I'm just going to go probably about halfway in with this liner just because I don't, I want it to be a day look. For a nighttime look, I would line, line my entire waterline. But I just want to do just right there. Same thing on the other eye. Just to kind of where your pupil is. Line that up. And, okay, now it's on to mascara. I don't have my eyelash curler over here. Usually I would curl my eyelashes, but I guess I won't today. I guess I'll just put this on. This is my favorite um, mas drugstore mascara of the moment. It is the Lash Blast Volume by CoverGirl. It just looks like this. This is their old formula, just because I haven't repurchased their new one, because I'm using the Bare Minerals mascara now. But this is um, in very black. I'm just going to apply a coat of this onto my top lashes. And then just take whatever's left over on the bottom lashes. So there's that. And then finally I'm going to do lips. Um, I thought long time about what I wanted to do for a lip product for this, but I finally found, um, like, the perfect, hmm, I finally found, like, the perfect coral, um, lip gloss in my thing, and this is the Pure Soft Lips 100% Natural Lip Gloss with SPF 15 Sunscreen, and it's in the color Coral Charm. So it looks like this. Okay, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lips, or my lips, which is the perfect it's the perfect just like corally pink color, it's not too out there or anything like that. So this is just my entire, and at the end I would always go back in, just going to kind of blend out the line. on my face. And that was my entire drugstore makeup tutorial. Every single one of the products that I used um, you can purchase at a drugstore including the brushes. Um, this, the only exception would be the Flirt Cosmetics brush which you can purchase at Kohl's I believe. I'm not quite sure I got it. I received that as a Christmas gift. So um, I hope you guys like this look. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.